Mods are finally here for Fallout 4 on PS4. It's about time. I'm going to show you all how to uh, install some mods and we'll go over a few mods on the PS4 here. Um, they made it pretty easy to install mods. Once you uh, start the game up and go to the main menu, you'll notice there's mods here on the main menu. Uh, before installing any mods that I highly recommend, go into your current game that you're doing and do a save, not a, auto, not a quick save, but a hard save. Save your game, that way if any of the mods totally mess up your game, you can always go back and pick up where you left off before mods. You may want to do that anyway, but I highly recommend it. But once you've done that, you can simply go into mods. If you've got a Bethesda account, you'll, you're just going to log in. I've already logged in, so it's just automatically going to log me into it. But it takes you straight to mods, and it shows you all mods. And we're in, I think, third or fourth day of mods on the PS4, and there's already a bunch of mods on here. Uh, I played around with a few already. One or two of them, they claim to do certain things. They absolutely done nothing. But they did say they were a work in progress and they'd be updates, which it's all new. Hopefully they'll get a better one. But as you can see, there's still a bunch here. But when you uh, install the mod, definitely read the description. Some of these mods have to be in a certain order, in a certain load order, which you can see down there at the bottom. If you uh, hit that, you're going to notice your load order. So I've got the cheat containers first, and then the unlocked settlement objects is the second one, and OP weapons is third. You may have to have these in a certain order for them to work. But uh, simply, if you find one you want, you can just click on it. Like the, uh, we'll do the simple green. Uh, you can read the description, find out where it's got to be, blah, 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 whatever, and download it. Hit download, it downloads it, boom, you're ready to go. It's already activated. You can also go into load order and disable them just by hitting X, and the mod will no longer be active during play and you come back in disable anytime or delete the mod if you find that it doesn't work like I have on some of these but uh so far I've used the cheat container it works pretty good it's simply a little small red toolbox that is placed beside every one of the uh, workshops at all the settlements uh, I'm not sure all the settlements may, may not include DLCs but it, it is on all the uh, settlements in the base game and it has 60,000 units of every main essential item that you need. The PS4, the uh, unlock settlement one, it will unlock all, all, pretty much every object that's in the game. Uh, there's still a few issues. If you read the description, he tells you, you know, they're still working on it, still a work in progress. There's still some objects that can't be selected. Some objects are kind of weird in the way they act. Uh, so far, I've used it. I haven't had any issues with it. It's a way to add a lot more items to your settlements and make them feel more lived in and just look a lot better. OP weapons is just something I saw, wanted to play around with it and uh, it's uh, basically they took uh, certain weapons as you see from the list and modified them. I mean one, one reason I like it is because now the 50 caliber is basically a one shot, one kill weapon. It, they uh, up the damage points to like 14,000, which I always thought was crazy. I've got a 50 caliber sh sniper rifle. I shoot somebody 10 feet away in the head and they just keep on walking like nothing happened. Ah, didn't make no sense to me. But once you've downloaded it, put some in the list, you check everything, you can just simply back out. Go back to the main menu. It's probably going to tell you when you add the mods, though, it's got to restart the reload the game. It'll reload it real quick and start, restart everything. But once you've done that, you can go into continue or starting a new game, whichever one you want. I'm just continuing my game. I started off here in Sanctuary Hills um, just to show you how these three mods work and that they do work. Uh, first off, I'll show you the cheat container. I've already used this, some of the components out of it, and now I got a crazy man on the roof. How do they keep glitching out up there? Anywho, anywho. All right, we got the workshop here, and you'll notice there's a red one, a little red uh, toolbox. It'll be beside every workshop at the settlements in the base game. I know for sure. Haven't checked the uh, Nuka Cola or Far Harbor. I will check those and maybe post another video of some other mods that I had to check them. And he's talking to me. Oh well, who cares? 
some of the uh, settlements will have it beside it, some will be on top, some will be around the corner, but they'll be you know, close enough for me to see. But anyway, you can look and see that it has 60,000 asset, adhesive, aluminum, and it has 60,000 of everything. And you see some of it's missing because I've already used some of the components. Now, if you've got your settlements, uh, we'll go to the map, if you've got your settlements set up for the supply routes, so if you've got settlements tied together in your supply routes, like I have got some of my settlements tied together. Now, if you, they, they supply, they share all their supplies. If you take all of these components, 60,000 of each, all this, all these components, and you put it in to the uh, workshop in every settlement, every time you go into the workshop, it's gonna get really, really laggy because it's gonna have to pull up all those items from all the workshops because they're shared and grouped together. Best thing to do is just go into it. It takes a little bit of time because there's so many. If you need some ceramic to make some uh, terminals and stuff like that, just simply just sit here, let it go down to like 10,000, then put that in the workshop. Use it up. Once you use it all up and you need more, then put some more in. Don't put them all because it gets extremely laggy. Um, hey, then again, you can do it and just sit here and wait. It may crash the game. I haven't had it crash it, but it did get real laggy, so I put all the jump back. And I just use it as I need it. So if I need wood, I go get a little, I go get some wood, put it in there. And with 10,000 wood, 10,000 steel, it's plenty, plenty, plenty walls. Other uh, mod that I had on here was the settlement objects. This is also, it adds a lot to it, but also makes it a little bit slower. When you go into here, you'll notice that you now have green little bushes that you can add to your settlement. And get out of the way. And you have trees that you can add. And if you notice, they only cost one bottle cap each. So it's an elm tree and it only costs one bottle cap. You can build all these extra objects, just a cool way to like add things to it, dress up your settlements. And there's a lot more in here. Uh, even if I noticed, even when you go to steel now, you have some extra roofs from uh, some of the other, like the um, Institute, stuff like that. They've added some stuff. Uh, you still got the standard roofs too. You got some more walls, the different color walls, like from the Institute. And you might find most of the stuff too in under the miscellaneous of each of the objects. So go to miscellaneous. He knows how it's taking a little bit for the stuff to load. It's just because there's so much stuff in here now. It takes a little bit to load, but you can still scroll over and it, it brings up the items. So you can see them. So if you scroll pretty fast, go through all the Far Harbor stuff and the Nuka World stuff and the flags. And you get into all the new stuff. This is all added. And you can see the top says added by mod. So we got this little goat dog slash, I have no idea, some type of statue. I uh, got a lamp and you got a bunch of other stuff and I mean it's just stuff that you can add in the settlement still only costing one bottle cap each all of the stuff just costs one bottle cap that's kind of cool and even add some dead sharks or dolphins whatever the heck they are nuke uh, or well, that's a big nuke not a mini nuke so you can add those you add statues all kind of stuff it just a ton of stuff that you can add and skeletons add those whatever all right, and the other mod was the OP weapons. They are stored, they're hidden, get out of there. They're hidden, or hidden, hiding, hidden, whatever. They're hidden in the cellar here under this house. So you go down into the cellar, and I've already took some of the weapons out, so I don't know if they'll respawn or not. So if you go in, you'll notice these here, these would be all full of ammo. Notice they say OP ammo box. They don't respawn. It did say in the description, they may respawn, they may not. So it doesn't look like they're respawning. They may over time. But I didn't get all the weapons out, so you can go in here and you can see. So you got the OP compact shotgun. If you notice, the damage is 8,096 damage points. So extremely good uh, machete. Then you got uh, handguns, the, he calls it Mike Tyson, they renamed this stuff. So, and he also put on there, not all this stuff works, which you can see this one here, the party starter auto pistol, 92 damage points. 
doesn't seem that it actually worked. But if you also notice too, the damage is increased. The weight is only two pounds, or I guess that would be two pounds. I don't know, two units. That's the weight. It's really low. And the one weapon that I got, let me go back outside. The weapon I got was the 308 sniper rifle. But I took it and had it turned into a 50 caliber sniper rifle, which is this one here. And you notice that the damage is 19,606. Uh, if you notice too, the weight is only 2.5 units, so weighs nothing. He's also added that. And now if you'll notice, if I pull out my, my uh, 10 millimeter handgun, and I pull it up and I go to aim, if you notice it's kind of slow pulling it up. It doesn't pull it up as quick, but if you go to the OP 50 caliber, which I renamed to the one shot, it pulls it directly up, it's really quick. He's changed all that, really good on that. And also too, the fire rate is extremely fast for a lever action rifle. Reload speed, extremely quick too. Reload, so fire, reload, change clips, reload. And I have the big clip in, which is actually supposed to only be 10 bullets, but I guess he's changed that too, to 100 rounds. So. And with it being 16,000 or whatever it was, I don't remember. It's a one shot, one kill. But for right now, that's it. It's all the mods I've played with, uh, except for a lot of, few other ones that didn't really work. But I, it did say he was gonna have updates for them, so. We'll play around with them after they're updated. Um, I'm gonna get some more mods, play around with them, and maybe post some more videos.